What's going on everybody? It's your boy Ooze back again once again with another Boruto manga reaction. I thank you guys for joining me uh, this month as well as any of the other previous videos. If you're coming from the last month's chapter, well, as you know, that chapter was a very crazy chapter. Um, a huge prediction and a theory kind of uh, came true with with me. Um, obviously, I've been saying for a very, very long time that Jiraiya was indeed some way, shape, or form, whether it was actually literally him or a clone of him, Jiraiya is in fact Kashin Koji. And uh, if you haven't, if you missed out on that one, I first of all, highly definitely check, definitely recommend you checking out my initial theory video that I posted on Christmas in uh, 2019. And I definitely uh, would love for you to check out my, my whole reaction for last month's chapter, number 47 of Boruto. And I had a really, really awesome reaction. I, I still couldn't believe it. I was, I was so happy. I freaking... This was the first time I ever did a manga reaction, and I literally jumped out of my seat. I ran around my room just screaming because I was like, I, I, I told y'all. I literally told y'all. For all the haters and the doubters, whatever. Whatever is what all I have to say. Because I want to, I, honestly, I just want to get right into it and see exactly how the story of Boruto unfolds. And, you know, this show, the series itself gets a lot of gripe from a lot of uh, unwoken ones and just kind of fans uh if you will but uh yeah th the manga has been nothing but fire so we're gonna continue this and uh let's see so number 48 is called time limit okay so going right back into the action so we got the shots of of kash and koji <sighs> oh man uh we got uh oh damn he's walking up oh he's throwing out he's throwing out the uh like a fire style Jutsu. Then he walked right through it. <clears throat> is he shrinking my Jutsu instantly? This is a whole different level of power than when he was Jigen. In which case, Art of the Raging Lion's Mane. Look at that. That's like the that's like the the Needle Jizo. I remember that move. So he grabs him by well, he grabs him with the hair and throws him down to the ground and he said it doesn't matter what you try then he just hit him with the rock lines he goes you cannot defeat me ever he's literally sitting on his shoulder like hella small there goes the needle argizo the, the spiky hair version no resistance he got away using sukuna hikona where is he? Now he's in front of him, like flying. My whole body is brimming with incredible power. However, precisely because of that, it's only a matter of time before the power destroys this body. I probably only have another two or three days of life left. And I've lost Kawaki's karma to boot. That sly fox Amato, he planned well. You can no longer resurrect. If you die, that's it for you. So I'm settling things here and now. You poor fool. You don't understand at all, do you? <clears throat> Kasha and Koji's like confused. And he's like, I take it Amato has fled. I, pre I presume his destination is Konoha. It's highly, it's highly likely that he intends to have the Hokage and Uchiha dispose of me. What? And then he says, because you lack the power to take me down. Amato understood that. And then he goes, it means Kashin Koji, you have already fulfilled your role at the point that you dragged me out of Jigen. That's absurd. If you're trying to distract me in order to escape, it won't work. It's the truth. I'll make you understand if I must that you're not capable of being a heroic shinobi tool. You're nothing more than a pitiful sacrificial pawn. <gasps> Enough of that. Here I come. Oh my God. He's doing sage mode. Yo, he's literally the eyes, John. The eye. The, oh my God, he's doing the sage mode. Okay. So back in Konoha, Amato goes. Okay, this looks good. Oh yeah. By the way, they don't even they don't even see nothing that's happening right now. They lost that that signal. You're granted most of the common civilian rights. 
but only within the village. You'll need both my and Naruto's permission to step even one toe outside the village. And he goes, that's fine. Whatever will put you at ease. Sasuke's no, like, he's, he, he, he's onto this guy. And then, uh... What was that dude's name? He's like one of the like scientists and the scientist guys is all about the tools. He goes, you may use our research facilities, uh, but only under my direct supervision and on the condition that you hand over your technology to us without exception. And Mada goes very well. Shikamaru says, if you're satisfied, hurry up and disarm that bomb around Shikadai's neck. He's like, about that, relax. It's just decoration. Uh, what? literally he's like you mean that was all a bluff he's like well yeah though the one that blew up the branch was real he goes oh my what were you going to do if we had realized that Amato says it wouldn't have happened whether you suspected she could die was fake or not once you saw the real bomb go off you could no longer assume anything with absolute certainty it was way too risky Shikamaru goes you bastard so this man outsmarted them that's crazy in any case, Lord Hokage, I'm sure you know this, but the hard part is yet to begin. Mato says, Kashi and Koji lacks the power to take down Ishiki. You two are the only ones who might have a chance. Uh-oh, so they got to send Naruto and Sasuke? Let's get it. So Naruto goes, aren't they still fighting? If we head there now, we'll gain the upper hand. He goes, no, I can't recommend that. He goes, why not? He goes, Ishiki has only one target right now, Kawaki. And Boruto's alarm, Sasuke looks, Naruto looks. Amato goes, as I explained earlier, Ishiki it only has a few days of remaining life. There's no way he'll sit, sit still and do nothing. He has to be intending to implant Kawaki with another karma before his life runs out in order to make it possible again for him to use Kawaki as his vessel to resurrect. Borto says, implant Kawaki with another karma? Amato says, he'll likely prioritize that above all else. So even if you two go rushing over there, he really has no reason to stay and engage you. He might just ignore you and teleport here to Konoha village where Kawaki is. And, oh no, if someone like him goes wild here, the village will be destroyed. So long as Kawaki is here, you can't avoid him attacking. You might want to start evacuating the civilians. He, uh, Shikamaru says, Sai, get on it. Roger that. Naruto says, damn it. There's nothing else we can do. At the very least, hide Kawaki somewhere. However, just in case his location gets exposed, Lord Hokage and Sasuke, who have the greatest fighting power, need to be around to protect him. In short, the two of you cannot go running off somewhere too far from Kawaki. Amato says, we'd be spared if Ishiki's life runs out quickly, but, well, at any rate, all's lost if Kawaki is implanted with another karma. So you must defeat Ishiki before that happens, no matter what. And back to the action, my man Kashin Jiraiya got that sage John. Okay, so let, okay, imagine if he goes into that mode where he like summons the old the old toads that would be fire that'd be fire okay hmm sage mode fire style giant flame bombs shoots him ishiki freaking still charging at him kashin looks like he dodges or he blocks a punch fire style flame attack he tries to do a fire punch ishiki just catches it wow he like catches it and like deflames him it looks like oh yeah because he's like making he's like minimizing the uh um the jutsu yeah he was trying to set him on fire and and ishiki continues to minimize it punches punches him back he goes sukuna ikona is an ocular jutsu so it only activates upon seeing its target then how about Sage Art, the five fire gods, fan of flames. Yo, more flames, truly unimaginative. Kashin Koji. Oh, he disappeared. Ishiki, where, where's, where's Kashin? The one who's a boar is you. 
Ooh, massive Ross handgun. Oh yeah. Now choose, which do you prefer? Getting ripped apart or burning? <gasps> oh my God, he activated his freaking, his, his, his eye jutsu. What the hell? These like those freaking big pil pillars just came crashing down. What the? He's like the secret jutsu, Dai Kokuten. These are just the ordinary stone columns that lined this space. Oh my god. Oh no, did he crush his legs? Seems my left arm and flank have been crushed. And he goes, the jutsu allows me to store what I've shrunk in a dimension where time doesn't flow. What the hell? And retrieve them whenever I want. Damn, my man just took out a glass of wine out of nowhere. Just like this glass of wine. Handy, isn't it? That's crazy. Ah oh, man. So now Ishiki says, with your skill, you should have been able to tell at the first exchange that you just end up dying in vain if you fought me. Was it Shinobi Pride? No. I think that you didn't want to acknowledge Amado's betrayal. Ishiki goes on to say, how surprising. Quite unexpected, but it means there was some gap in your professional pride as a Shinobi. Perhaps Amado had picked up on that human weakness. In any case, you and I have both been out outmaneuvered by that fox. I plan to kill him eventually. Any last words for him? I'll relay them as a favor to a former comrade. Wow. And then it looks like he was like starting to smile or something. Or it looks like he's trying to say something. And then Ishiki's like looking. And then he's like, I can't hear you. Say again. And then... Kuchio say summoning! <gasps> Yo, I see. Yo, he summons this big ass frog. I don't know if it's gonna work. But... Oh, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it. No, he, he, didn't, he didn't catch him at all. And then they disappeared. Hmm. Where is that purposeless stray dog planning to go? Does he intend to finish a model himself? Wow, okay. So, okay. He's not dead. Oh, thank God. He's not dead. He did not die. Let's go. He escaped. Does he intend to finish a model himself? Never mind. I don't have any time to waste on the likes of Koji. Just you wait, Kawaki. I'm coming right now. Oh, no. Naruto goes, no, absolutely not. Forza says, why not? I can fight too. Now, of course. Naruto says, weren't you listening? The enemy is a complete monster. Only Sasuke and I will take him on. You'd actually be in the way if you were there. Boruto says, I'm worried. You two lost against that Jigen guy last time, didn't you? So how do you plan to win against an even stronger guy? He was like, Boruto. This is from Sasuke. Sasuke says, I'm willing to die at any moment for, Kon for Konoha, as is Naruto. We're always prepared to do so. And then it's like, Sasuke. And then Naruto says, Sasuke. And then Sasuke says, what about you? Could you die for the village? And then Boruto goes, I... And then someone's calling Naruto, do copy, enemy attack. Oh my God, Ishiki is in Konoha, literally right outside the front gate. Like you can see the door and everything. Ishiki goes, one foe in the sky above. Oh no, yeah, chakra data not available. Naruto says, damn it, he's here already. Oh snap, next chapter is August 20th. All right, so. Chapter was solid, definitely godlike. I, you know, the, 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 what's going on right now in Boruto is freaking fire. It's really amazing. I love it a lot. Um, no complaints out of me, really, because I'm just, I'm more happy that Kashi and Koji survived. He actually summoned the Toad right before Ishiki was about to deal the final blow, and uh, it was it was that that. I, I don't know if you could call it arrogance right at the end where he was like, if you have any last words, I'll relay it to the Hokage or blah, 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 right? And 
he took that chance to do summoning jutsu and he escaped so the the likeliness of koji like either confronting or being in front of naruto and seeing what happens from that point onward is more likely to happen and i cannot wait i oh i need i need that interaction to happen guys you guys have no idea i need i need 100 need that interaction to happen overall the chapter was really cool we got to see more jutsu that was definitely jiraiya's that um i don't think he he used the, i don't think he used the hair jutsu before the needle art jizo um but obviously he did a lot of the fire style stuff but now he showed off some more fire st fire style stuff and uh and ishiki is busted that that what was that move called that he did i gotta hold on, let me go back some pages he explained it in one of these panels here. Here we go, right here. The Dai Kokuten. That eye pattern looks crazy. It looks like it looks like like a, like a shark's bite in his eye. Like it's kind of OD. But anyway, I thought the chapter was fire. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to next next months. Um, I, I wonder what exactly is gonna happen because the way this ended, Ishiki is real is literally right there in Kona. So I'm wondering if they're just gonna have this fight right at the village or or if they're gonna like take him somewhere else i and i feel like they're almost forced to fight with kawaki in their eyesight because if like let's say they were to try to like teleport this guy elsewhere using uh sasuke's rinnegan like if they were to fight in like another dimension wouldn't this guy just be able to escape and then boom like just go to kawaki and like you know what i'm saying like i, I think that they're gonna if, if, if they're obviously gonna have to fight this guy and if they are i don't know like because like the, the the village is really like in peril right now like they, they're they're at risk because unless sai and you know whoever's helping now evacuate these people like this village is going to get destroyed and the crazy part is if we think back to how they teased us right at the beginning of this whole series when it started they gave us boruto shippuden before boruto the show the series right now even started and they they already showed us a destroyed leaf village so i wonder if this destruction is going to start happening now but who's to say it's really we're gonna have to wait and see and, and and see when that happens and that's arguably like it's like that's that's arguably far off into like the the pretty distant i wouldn't say near distant i'd pretty sad that's, that's a distant future um if i was to put a time on that uh I, it's hard to say it's, I, I would say at least three to five years at least before we see the events unfold from episode one or not even episode one but the tease that was in chapter one episode one of boards so, yep manga still fire i want to know what you guys thought about this what you guys are thinking is going to happen next with this fight against ishiki versus naruto and sasuke and what is borto's decision going to be is he going to be able, able to answer sasuke at, a, at such a young age is he willing to die for his village so at, at such a young age well we're going to find out uh very soon so uh thanks for watching if you made it this far um and again let me know all your thoughts in the comments below make sure you guys are liking sharing subscribing hitting that alert button to get notified on uh videos like this and other videos that i do on this channel uh, make sure that you are joining my discord because so that way you can talk to me more about uh what's to come outside of the comments if you want to definitely be a part of the uchi gang i highly recommend you joining the discord and uh make sure you read the rules so that you can become active in there take care of yourselves guys may the power protect you keep it locked with it right here on this channel stay stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see y'all next time